The Dark Shadows of Franklin Pierce, 10 Shocking and Controversial Facts Franklin Pierce, the 14th President of the United States, is a figure whose tenure is marred by a series of personal tragedies, controversial policies, and decisions that have left a lasting impact on the nation's history. Despite his charismatic personality and initial popularity, Pierce's presidency and life story are entangled with events and actions that continue to evoke debate and intrigue. Here are 12 of the most shocking, controversial, and scandalous facts about Franklin Pierce. Fact number 1. Tragic loss of his son before inauguration. Franklin Pierce, the 14th President of the United States, faced personal tragedy just before his inauguration. On January 6, 1853, Pierce's family was involved in a horrific train accident near Andover, Massachusetts. The accident claimed the life of their only surviving child, 11-year-old Benjamin Benny Pierce. The loss was devastating for Pierce and his wife, Jane, deeply impacting Pierce's emotional state and his presidency. This tragedy followed him into the White House, affecting his and his wife's spirits throughout his term. Number 2. Rapid Military Promotion with No Experience Despite having no prior military experience, Franklin Pierce was appointed Brigadier General in the U.S. Army during the Mexican-American War, 1846-1848. This appointment, made in March 1847, was indeed reflective of the era's norms, where political connections often influenced military positions. Pierce's promotion came through the influence of his political connections, rather than battlefield experience or military training, showcasing the intertwining of politics and military appointments during that period. Number 3. Derogatory Nicknames Highlighting Personal Struggles Franklin Pierce's public image was significantly tarnished by derogatory nicknames that not only emphasized his personal struggles, particularly with alcoholism, but also cast doubt on his leadership abilities. The nickname hero of many a well-fought bottle humorously critiqued his battle with alcohol, while fainting Frank specifically targeted his courage, referencing an incident during the Mexican-American War. At the Battle of Contreras, Pierce sustained a knee injury when his horse bucked and fell on him, causing him to faint from the pain. This moment was seized upon by critics to question his bravery and leadership, contributing to a negative portrayal. These nicknames did more than just mock, they underscored societal concerns regarding the moral integrity of leaders and posited that personal issues could compromise their public responsibilities. Such portrayals significantly affected Pierce's legacy, illustrating how personal failings, intertwined with public perception and political actions, can deeply influence how historical figures are remembered. Number 4. Unusual Victory Over His Former Commander in the 1852 presidential election, Franklin Pierce achieved an unexpected victory over Winfield Scott, his former commander during the Mexican-American War. This victory was remarkable for several reasons. Firstly, it highlighted the unpredictable nature of political alliances and ambitions. Secondly, it showcased Pierce's political acumen and the effectiveness of his campaign strategy. Pierce won the presidency as a dark horse candidate, securing the Democratic nomination on the 49th ballot at the convention and then going on to defeat Scott, a highly respected general, in a landslide, illustrating the complex dynamics of 19th century American politics. Number 5. Serving without a vice president. Franklin Pierce faced the unique situation of serving nearly his entire term without a vice president following the death of William R. King. King, who had been suffering from tuberculosis, died on April 18, 1853, just 45 days after being inaugurated as vice president. This was a rare occurrence in American history, leaving the presidency without an immediate constitutional successor from the executive branch for almost the entirety of Pierce's term, 1853 to 1857. This situation underscored the vulnerabilities in the presidential succession plan of the era, eventually leading to changes in succession laws. Number 6. Support for the Kansas-Nebraska Act Franklin Pierce's presidency is perhaps most controversial for his support of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, signed into law on May 30, 1854. This act allowed the residents of the Kansas and Nebraska territories to decide for themselves whether to allow slavery, effectively repealing the Missouri Compromise of 1820, which had prohibited slavery in those territories. 
Pierce's endorsement of the act was driven by his belief in the principle of popular sovereignty but resulted in a violent conflict known as Bleeding Kansas, as pro-slavery and anti-slavery settlers clashed. This period was a significant precursor to the Civil War, highlighting the deep divisions within the country over the issue of slavery. Number 7. Distant Relation to the Bush Family the genealogical ties between Franklin Pierce and the Bush family offer a fascinating glimpse into the interconnected nature of American political lineage. Franklin Pierce, 1804-1869, and George W. Bush, born 1946, along with Barbara Bush, née Pierce, 1925-2018, are linked through their common ancestor, Thomas Pierce Jr., 1633-1717, who was an early American settler. This connection places Franklin Pierce as a distant cousin of both George W. Bush and his wife, Barbara, underscoring the small world phenomenon within the U.S. political landscape and the recurring presence of certain families within it. Number 8. Struggle with Alcoholism Franklin Pierce's struggle with alcoholism became more pronounced in public following the tragic deaths of his three sons and, later, his wife, Jane, in December 1863. Pierce had battled with alcohol at various points throughout his life, but these personal losses deeply exacerbated his dependence. Critics and historians have speculated that this struggle impacted his effectiveness as president and his ability to cope with the mounting pressures of national disunion. Despite his personal challenges, Pierce's presidency is often examined through the lens of his policies and their contributions to the antebellum period's escalating tensions, with his battle with alcoholism providing a somber backdrop to his public and private life. Number 9. Controversial Foreign Policy Moves During Franklin Pierce's presidency, the Gadsden Purchase was finalized in 1854, involving the acquisition of approximately 29,670 square miles of territory from Mexico for $10 million. This land, part of present-day Arizona and New Mexico, was intended to facilitate a southern transcontinental railroad route. Additionally, the Ostend Manifesto, drafted in 1854 by American diplomats in Ostend, Belgium, proposed the acquisition of Cuba from Spain, by force if necessary, to expand slaveholding territory in the south. Both of these actions sparked controversy and were viewed by many, especially in the north, as aggressive attempts to extend slavery's reach, contributing to the rising sectional tensions between the north and south. Number 10. Enforcement of the Fugitive Slave Act The Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, part of the Compromise of 1850, was rigorously enforced under Pierce's administration. This law mandated that escaped slaves found in free states be returned to their owners and imposed penalties on anyone who aided in their escape. Pierce's strict enforcement of this act incited significant opposition in the northern states, where many viewed it as morally reprehensible and an infringement on their rights. The act's enforcement strengthened the abolitionist movement, increased the North's resistance to slavery, and further polarized the nation. Number 11. Rejection by his own party. In 1856, Franklin Pierce's bid for renomination by the Democratic Party was starkly rebuffed, marking him as the first sitting president to face such rejection. The divide within the party, primarily over slavery and Pierce's pro-Southern policies, led to a preference for James Buchanan as a more unifying candidate. The Democratic National Convention in Cincinnati highlighted this schism, with Pierce's support dwindling across initial ballots until Buchanan emerged as a compromise choice. This move was an attempt to mend party divisions and appeal to a wider electorate amidst escalating national discord. Pierce's rejection reflected deep political and social turmoil, foreshadowing the looming civil war and illustrating the severe consequences of failing to navigate the era's contentious issues. Number 12. Viewed as one of the worst presidents. Franklin Pierce's presidency is often criticized for its support of pro-slavery policies and its failure to address or mitigate the escalating tensions leading up to the civil war. His enforcement of the Fugitive Slave Act, support for the Kansas-Nebraska Act, and involvement in controversial foreign policy endeavors like the Ostend Manifesto have contributed to his ranking as one of the least effective and most detrimental presidents in American history. Historians and scholars frequently cite Pierce's inability to provide unifying leadership or to foresee and prevent the nation's descent into civil conflict as key factors in these assessments.